In a flipped class, I would argue one of the most important things is that you watch the video lectures. If you are like, dude, I'm going to poke my eyes out if I have to watch those video lectures, you can <clears throat> read the textbook instead. That's, I, like, no problem. If you read the textbook and go to the level that we go to in um, the lecture notes, and then you read through the lecture notes, and then you participate in the flipped activities during class time, chances are excellent that you will get all the content that you need to perform exceptionally well on my exams. I say that, I, and there's a tiny little caveat because I'm always on video lectures, on any lecture, instructors put in their own flavor, and they have their own little, like, oh, this was a really cool thing that I learned, and I really want to share this with you, and yes, I am going to test you on that, and if you don't watch the video lecture, there's a chance you'll miss things like that. But honestly, if you are going to jump off a bridge, if you have to watch these video lectures, then goodness gracious, by all means, like, that's, like, going to be just a fraction of the points. Like, that's nothing. So you will not lose out. You will not drop a letter if you don't watch these video lectures. If you don't watch these video lectures and you don't do anything else, then bye-bye. Like, you're not even going to, you're going to, you're going to crash and burn and it's going to be ugly. So commit yourself to doing something. The video lectures are the easiest way to go, and the reason is because it is a lecture. Lectures, lectures are an instructor's um, path, an instructor's, like, with the, with the little guidance signs along the way. This is something that's really tricky, and so focus right here. Your textbook is flat. There, there's no um, me staring at you and making faces and, like, telling you, oh, this part's really exciting. This is really important. And so textbooks are amazing resources, and if we all could just read the textbook, I would not be here right now. We'd be flipping with the textbook readings, and it would save me a huge amount of time. But we're humans, and we learn best from people that we're connected to, and that's, like, that's a biological fact about how our brains work. So I'm here, and I'm going to explain it to you, and I'm going to walk you along the way. you got to watch them. And you got to watch them with your brain on. If you watch the lecture while you're talking to your kids and cleaning the house and playing on Facebook and watching movies and, yeah, that's not watching the lecture. That's like having Wendy Riggs in your background scene, and that's not going to fly for you, dog pounds. Uh, I have all sorts of stories of how people use these video lectures that uh, may or may not work the bottom line is you have to be engaged with the content. I highly recommend approaching it just like a traditional lecture. You're just going to sit there. You're going to take your notes, except, of course, that you can pause it, rewind it, have your textbook handy, open it up, and clarify things if you want to. But back to, back to where we were, you got to know where you're going to find the lecture. Which one are we talking about on which day? That's the most important thing. If you just hang out in Canvas, it's right there. One of the things that's true, what I've embedded into Canvas is this little package. And you, it has a clickable link, a clickable menu on the side, and it tells you how long each video piece is. I break my lectures into pieces just so you can review what you need. You can skip through what is, like, you've got, whatever. Click on this thing to start it out. Now, what you're experiencing is the fact that my web browser is a lot bigger. Some people find that this video, this embedded Canvas video doesn't fit in their screen of view. If you, I use Mozilla Firefox, and if I hold Control minus, it unzooms my, like it makes everything super small and I can make my Canvas lecture fit in the screen. Always, when the advantage of that is that this clickable menu stays in existence. And so here, like you, and you can stop it, you can go forward, you can do the next one. There I am to watch the lecture happen. We don't want to look at that anymore. Okay, so that's one option. When you click on this link in the Canvas 
module, it will take you to a package like this where you can watch the entire video lecture. It's one option. You, in order to watch those video lectures, you have to have a flash-enabled device. So if you are using iThings, I don't know how Flash works on all the iThings, but I think iPads and iPods and iPhones, I think that they don't play Flash. If that's you and you want to watch on a different iDevice or whatever, then I've posted all the lectures in YouTube as well. And so what you'll see, I have a YouTube channel. It's, there's a link to it in Canvas. Um, you can look up Wendy Riggs and you'll see, oh, that lovely picture. And I've organized all the videos into playlists in YouTube. What? So if you want to check out the anatomy lectures, you can click on that and you will see that, oh, they're all here and in order and you can't see them all because, holy crud, there's a billion of them. I have like 600 videos on YouTube, which like blows my mind apart into little pieces. It's kind of handy because I also have the physio lectures up. So if you're in physio and you're like, dude, I need to review the anatomy, go for it, done. And then I have all my general bio lectures up. So all of this is available to you. Um, except I'm going to eliminate that one down there. Okay. Um, oh, there's one more way that you can access the video lectures. If you're like, I hate YouTube and I hate Canvas, give me another way, Riggs. Or, dude, you don't want to be online. You have some, like you don't have good Internet, whatever. There's another way. There's another way. You have to go online at some point. So go find a library or a coffee shop or whatever, and I have all the video lectures uploaded into a Dropbox file. All you have to do is send me an email and say, Riggs, will you add this email address to the Dropbox folder? And then they're all in there in PDF form. And these things, unfortunately, you have to have a Flash-enabled device to watch them. So if you're trying to download these and play them on an I thing, it's not going to work. But if you have a Flash-enabled device, it will totally work for you, and then you can watch them without having an Internet connection, which is fantastic. That's totally doable. If you get in there and you're like, oh, there's something missing, um, the numbering doesn't make sense, just you must shoot me an email. You must tell me what is wrong because with this number of videos to manage, you have to know that it's insane. And I'm only, I'm, I'm holding it together, but um, I need reminders. And reminders, when they come, are polite and sweet and kind. And then I'm always happy to um, get on what you need and make sure that you get what you need. Okay. Video lectures. You have lots of options for how you can watch them. I'm sure you are wondering about grades, so let's talk about that.